Hey, welcome back. There's one thing most authors have in common. They love to hear from their readers. That's right. It's that time of year for the Barbara Vey Reader Appreciation Weekend that brings authors from around the world together with their adoring fans. And we are thrilled to welcome just three of the 60 or so best-selling authors flying into Milwaukee for the fun-filled festivities. So sitting next to me is keynote speaker for the weekend. It's Meg Tilly, a celebrated Hollywood actress who received a Golden Globe and Oscar nomination for her lead role in Agnes of God. Next to Meg is Rochelle Allers. She's written over 80 titles with nearly 2 million copies of her novels in print. Her latest novel is about women of a certain age finding a second chance at love. And finally, we have New York Times best-selling author Heather Graham. She has over 200 novels and 60 million books in print and has a great story about visiting Gettysburg with her kids. <laughs> Thanks for being here, all of you. Yes. Thank you for having us. I feel so unaccomplished. Right? Right? <laughs> Such right celebrated women yes, in your fields. I, know. I mean, truly impressive. We kind of teased this, so I got to know this Gettysburg story because you visited there with your kids. I have, and this I've is been a fun story. All up and down. I have five children, and I mean, they're grown up now, but they. Uh, we would go up and down the East Coast because my husband's entire family was from Massachusetts. We would go to every battle reenactment, every church, everything that you could reasonably do with five children. Mm -hmm. And so um, I love history, any history, but especially American history. And I had written a series on the Civil War from the southern side, the northern side, and then the aftermath when everybody went west. And my children, we were all in Gettysburg, and the children walked into the Abe Lincoln Museum and they came running out, they were all excited, and they're like, Mom, Mom, you're in the Abe Lincoln Museum. And I was like, oh, oh my God. And so I ran I into doing? the museum yeah. and I picked up one of the books I'm holding and I'm like, I'm really in the Abe Lincoln Museum. And the shop clerk came up to me and she said, can I help you? And I said, this is my book. And she looked at me and said, oh no, it's not, honey, not to you've paid me. <laughs> Take off the dust jacket, <laughs> hold it up to me. Yeah. That's when you flip it over and yeah. say, no, this is my book. I, I don't even remember what I did. I was just <laughs> That's, That's wonderful. Cool. You know, Rochelle, I, I mentioned that you had that, that there's a whole segment of uh, African-American romance novelists yes. that, that you're mm -hmm. a part of, and you like, to, you like to sort of explore that angle on it. Can you tell me a little bit about what the differences are or, or, or what you could? There are really no differences. Okay, okay. Except for the physical Right, the aspects. characters, I That's see. That's it. Okay. But you say even placement, though, in stores sometimes there's, a, there's an issue. Yeah, because a lot of stores will shelve them not in romance but in African-American literature. Oh. Yeah. And, on, you know, and they are on the spine. It reads romance. Okay. So they're sort of segregated. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which seems to me so ridiculous, especially when you're thinking about books, because you're reading. You can, anybody can also imagine themselves in these books in any scenario. Mm -hmm. right. It should not matter the, the characters. But it's still there, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it does among us. Like yeah. we'll all pick up anything yeah. because yes, right. we are authors and we know it. But but there are you know I still things we need to do as far as getting things, you know, fair coverage in stores and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And even in publishing, you know, some publishers will put all the African American books in one line yeah. mm -hmm. instead of integrating them throughout the lines. Right. Mm -hmm. Because right. there's a line that just ended. Mm -hmm. But they've picked up several authors to go into their other lines, which gives them higher visibility. What is, mm. what is the interesting, because, I mean, it, it, we're, we're all here talking about, well, well not, well, most of us are, uh, two-thirds of us are, are romance novels. Mm -hmm. what, is, what, is the, what is the, what makes a good romance novel? Specifically, I mean, is it just the love? Is it the language? Is it the is it sex scenes. The story? <laughs> sex <laughs> scenes? How do you write a good sex Pens. scene? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the the thing with a, a good and probably with don't you think with the movies too, mm -hmm. is that you're allowing people to recreate because I mean I don't I'm assuming. I've been married forever. <laughs> I don't even remember not being married. <laughs> so I think what it does is bring back, you know, that first rush yeah. of excitement, that mm -hmm. feeling. And you can kind of, you know, without having to do anything terrible or whatever, or even think yeah. of the elite as anybody than the person you're already with, but you might not do that, I don't know. <laughs> right. But, but it, it brings the freshness of mm -hmm. falling in love, of being in love back. Mm -hmm. And it just, um, I, think it, it, I think it's feel good because mm -hmm. like, it always struck me as funny that people kind of did that with romance novels. Cause I have friends who'll say, did you kill a lot of people in that one? It was kind of like, actually killing's not considered one of our finer human, you know, activities. Right? But it's very Whereas sexy. love though. is. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first romance, yeah, this right? Is uh, yes, it is. I've read romance for years, mm -hmm. but um, this is my first uh, romance writing, and I, I just love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it, it happened by fluke. 
Right. Really? We'll yeah, talk yeah. about that because mm -hmm. the place where they're set, so Solace Island, yeah. there's the name, but this is about an island that you and your husband truly live on. Yeah, I know. Correct? <laughs> so there's reality yeah. to this. Yeah, we go to the Saturday market. Yeah. And there's, you know, very good baking and the guy's a baker. And, yeah. you know, so I was trying to figure out where should I set it. And then my friend, we were walking, we were hiking, and she goes, why not set it here? And mm -hmm. I thought, oh, yeah. That, yeah. And beautiful. everybody else says, oh, I wish I, I could go to Solace Island. And I'm like, ah, well, <laughs> actually. <laughs> What's it really called? Is Salt it? Spring Island. Salt Spring Island. Yeah. Oh, oh, you've been there? No, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't been there, but I, I yeah. love the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it's just Me gorgeous too. out there. It's yeah. I spent a lot of time in Seattle and Portland. Yeah, and uh, it's you know it's just the, the the trees and yeah. the people are fantastic. Yeah. I love it out there. Yeah. It's it's just lovely. Yeah. I, I love it. And then you've got so you have the the mountains, but you also we I do have a few bodies in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ones. Yeah. Yeah. And you live breathing and and that sexy, too. Sexy, sexy <laughs> baker that they have out there at the Saturday yeah. Forest. Well, speaking, we've got some never have I ever's for you guys. Okay. So why don't you grab your paddles? This is okay. fun. People, um, we'll give you all the information for the Barbara Bay Reader Association uh, Appreciation Week. But we want to play this first because this is really fun. So, okay. never have I ever written an evil character based on an ex of mine. Oh. Uh, don't answer. Hold up your sign. <laughs> I have. I have never and. I don't have any evil exes. I don't have any exes. <laughs> <laughs> like she was married since she was just like five. Like, just I like an actual married. person. Yeah, no, yeah not actual. maybe somebody I was intimate with. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I let's, that. Let's hear about <laughs> that. Because I wouldn't. Okay. okay. Here's one. Okay. I have never have I ever written a scene. The grammar mm -hmm. here is terrible. Written a scene and then <laughs> acted it out in real life. Oh. oh. I've never seen and then acting it out in real life. I don't understand that question. Okay. Uh, Is that a good one? You, I feel like you've got a story. I've, Go ahead. Okay. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> good, good choice. Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever accidentally called my spouse by the name of my protagonist. Uh, uh, okay. I have never, wow, okay. okay. It's just the name of the dog. You call him the dog's name, right? Yeah. That's what happens there. Okay, never have I ever, and I know some of you here are really good cooks, have I cooked something so bad it was inedible? Mm. Oh. I have, no. oh, okay. Never. Oh. never. I never have. Okay. Come on, Heather. Heather. <laughs> I don't cook enough. <laughs> Maybe I'm calling not, your husband, right? your long-suffering <laughs> husband. I think we need to. All right, never have I ever sung karaoke secretly imagining I was on stage in front of a huge audience. Well, that's Oh, I have. Yes. You've never done it? You I never, can't sing. You can't sing? <laughs> no. Everybody can sing. I don't have the singing gene. Oh. <laughs> you just gotta grab a salt shaker and then you let it uh, inspires I, I let you. Go. Grab a salt shaker. I know what I can do. <laughs> have you ever, anybody lied about a, a speeding ticket? And have you ever lied yeah, your right? spouse no. about your a speeding spouse? ticket? I never have. Never have never I have. ever. Well, you can't. You can't get up to speed right. in the golf cart. <laughs> yeah, it's Salt true. Spring Island. Oh, <laughs> uh, ladies, this is wonderful. Aww. So everybody can come out and meet you um, today through Sunday. The BarbaraVay.com for the Barbara Barbara Vay Reader Appreciation Weekend. It's so great. It's such a fun event. You can mm. learn more. There's um, uh, 4 p.m. The signing is free. I know that's for sure. And then there's also a brunch, which is great. Different things like that all yeah. weekend long. So check it out. Enjoy Thank it. You. Head on out and see everyone. It's Thanks for being here. 3 yes. p.m. for yes. the signing. Yes. Gotcha. And we do Perfect. a Q&A, too, um, which, is we're, it, which is totally oh, that's open and a lot of fun. Yeah, be off so. the chain. That's going to be so much fun. Off the chain. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks so much for coming.